Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. Very often you ask me how to use MD Bootstrap in your Node.js project. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a new project using MD Bootstrap and Express. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to start, we're going to create an empty project using npm. So I'm going to type npm in it and I'm going to accept all default values. So this is going to create a very basic npm project for us. Let's open this in editor. And what are we going to do now is we're going to install two packages. One is going to be express. So npm install express. That's going to install express. And now we're going to install MDB5. So I'm going to use npm install mdb-ui-kit and that's going to install MD Bootstrap under node modules. Now once we have our modules installed, let's create some folder structure. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna, we're going to create a views folder and index.html file inside it and we're also going to create index.js file as our main node file. Now let's quickly create very basic um, express app. So const express require express. Now we're going to use path and I'm going to explain it to you in a second how we're going to use it. And we're going to set app get slash so our main route to have request response. So every time someone's visit our main page, we're going to do res send file path and this is how we use path which we include at the beginning the your name which is a variable for our current directory and we're gonna concatenate views index html and now let's add app listen port 3000 and add some console log to like listening on part plus 3000. Okay, so these are very basic app. Now let's add some content. And now let's run our app, note index, listening on port 3000, and let's verify whether it's working fine. So local host 3000. Yep, we have hello world. Okay, so now if we navigate to mdbootstrap.com, go to Bootstrap 5 section, and we're going to get mdb5 starter, download it, unzip it, we're going to see our starting template. So I'm going to use this one. And as you can see, we are linking our mdb css as well as our js files linked inside our mdb starter now how we can use this in our node project so basically there are two options obviously we could use cdn uh, so uh, we could just download we could just link our um, resources from cdn but obviously this has some downsides as if internet connection is down we cannot load our resources so we would like to load them locally now we have them installed under node modules so under node modules mdb ui kit and here we have our css and js as well as our scss files and i'm going to create another tutorial on how to compile our scss files using gulp or webpack in another tutorial but for now let's work out let's sort out how we can include these files so obviously we could import them link them from uh, from our node modules and so on but this is not going to work in express app so what we have to 
do we gonna use another function from express which is called express static so i'm gonna use app use so this will create for me an virtual directory slash css which obviously doesn't exist here so if we check our file structure we don't have css folder here but express will take care of it and it will create this for us and what we want to serve here is express static and here we want to provide path to our css file so i'm gonna add path join because we want to concatenate our dear name and we want to do something like this node modules slash mdb ui kit css so this is for our css and now i'm gonna do exactly pretty much the same for js okay and now let's do something like this so i'm gonna copy our starter here and i'm gonna add that uh, slash here and dot slash here and let's restart our app and let's check if that works fine so as you can see our starting page works perfectly fine we can see our mdb buttons if we check console we're gonna see that everything has been loaded let's check css refresh page and uh, mdb mean from localhost has been downloaded if we open this file in a new tab we can see that we can access our mdb files from this virtual directory css although it doesn't exist here so this is how you use mdb with express app and obviously you can add now new routings here new paths and much more complex to your application because this is a fully backend and fronted app now let me now let me show you how you can easily publish your backend project using mdb cli if you are an mdb cli user what you have to do is just to type mdb publish minus minus backend equals to node 12 or other version and hit enter now see how quickly your project got published into the web so within a few seconds our application is running and here you can see the address so now let's see how it works and that's done our project has been published if you don't know what mdb cli is navigate to mdbootstrap.com and find mdb cli section or you can directly go to mdbootstrap.com cli here you're gonna find more information on how to install our command line tool so basically it's a free tool which you can use what you have to do is just to register on mdbootstrap.com and then once you install you can go and use mdb cli to initiate your projects publish your projects create the database and many many more and if you go to mdbgo.com you're gonna see all your projects listed over here including all the addresses and also your databases like mysql mongo and so on and so on so this is a very powerful common line tool which allows you to very easily create share and publish your projects because each project can have its own repository which allows you to share your project with your friends you just have to log in and you can use the full access to your repository including cooperation with other team members of your project okay guys i hope you enjoyed this and you find it very very easy to use md bootstrap and express within the same project 
if you have any question please don't he hesitate please if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask them in the comments down below don't forget to join our facebook group and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video